We have a massive week in store for you guys this week. We start off with a semi-friendly competition. We head out to Amish country to pick up a thousand pounds of beef. Candace has a pretty substantial wholesale fence order. And we head out to a local cemetery to demo a shade cloth for a recent fence that we had installed. We also stop by to say hi to grandpa. And then to wrap things up, we start the competition. So if you want to learn more about how to win a $100 Amazon gift card, be sure to tune in to the end. I'll explain the competition and how to enter. Chuck the trash can at you. I'm going to try and whip it around this thing. Wait, what are you trying to do? I'm going to try and whip it around this thing like the movie Wanted. You ever seen that? Where they curved the bar? probably could if you get it just left. I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't tell you know him to what? do that. Oh, bro, that's melting, bro. It's probably not going to melt that much, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't really melt at all. It didn't do anything. It did a little bit. You can feel yeah, it. Yeah, okay. It's a little. Yeah, it looks tiny. But... Just fire the leftover water to. Yeah. How do you want it? Hey. Kind of like crumpled it up a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. It didn't really, it didn't really melt. I don't think we'd want it to melt. I mean, it just comes out dripping. Yeah. So. Hi, welcome to Ozark. Ben. Welcome all to know. I'm at a significant disadvantage. Why is that? Not having the L bar. Oh, okay. So, here's what's going on. Me and Alan are going to speed run through some of these. We're going to put them together, run them through the heat tunnel. We're going to see who can do the most in, I don't know, however, time, however much time we're doing this. And then until Braden says stop, I guess. Until I get bored, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> until he figures out he wants something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> See how long it takes him to notice that's not turned on. Three, two, one. We have order good for him. What you man? <laughs> <laughs> gotta play dirty, bro. <laughs> yeah, I honestly got it pretty quick though. Yeah. Go for another 30 seconds. 30 minutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay, count them up. Alan's the winner. I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> win. <laughs> Say a gang sign. This is the win sign. So you have the L and then you have a W. Oh. And you're fired. Out. While the guys wrapped up their competition, Sarah and I grabbed Braden and we headed out to Seymour. I just meant for dimensions. I was trying to find something on Last the week during the building walkthrough, I showed you guys a couple deep freezes. Uh, we're going to fill those full of meat to give out to our guys and their families. And if they know of someone in their extended family or a friend that has fallen on hard times, we're going to have beef available to give out to those people. Uh, as part of the, uh, the shout out to Matt Warner, this is purely his idea. We're, we're mimicking it. Uh, so what we did, so my family doesn't raise beef cattle, uh, but a friend of ours, uh, who's a, a local sheriff's deputy does also raises beef. So he went and he uh, sold us two of his steers. He took them out. We're going out to Seymour right now, which is I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes away. Uh, took them out to Seymour, dropped them off last week. Well, I got a call yesterday from the producer, uh, that said they're ready for pickup. So 
we were on our way to pick them up when we thought about this and some of the guys I had been talking to the guys about this not all of them have coolers so nothing doing we had to stop by Academy no, no it, not sponsored the show but that's where we stopped so anyway uh, picked up 10 coolers now it felt like a bit of a windfall because they were listed as they're listed like $49.99 I think is what the sticker said so I was like ah but but we're gonna buy them so we bought 10 we took 10 of them up to the check or checkout register come to find out $19.99 and we even had her double check the price just to make sure so I feel like we're already ahead in the deal I, but anyway so we got 10 what are they 50 quart coolers I think something like that uh, sitting in the back of the truck and if any of you were wondering how many 50 quart coolers will fit in the back of a Ram 2500 it is exactly 10 uh, we didn't plan it that way, but that's how that's how it ended up going. So anyway, we're gonna head out to Seymour. Uh, we're gonna visit uh, the place called Gibson's Beef. If you're local, uh, they've been great to work with. Again, not a sponsor or anything, but they've been really good to work with. So uh, yeah, here we go to Gibson's. Just got done picking up. <laughs> what do we say? About like 900 and some pounds. Yeah, uh, five, six, seven, 960 some odd pounds of Missouri beef. Now listen, Matt Warner will try to tell you Nebraska beef is superior. There's other guys that will try to tell you Iowa beef or this and that. It's Missouri beef. The only reason they say that is they haven't come down to the good part of Missouri to have good Missouri beef. So anyway, regardless, we picked up just shy of about a thousand pounds of beef. Come to find out, if you walk in there with 10 50 quart coolers, you will not have enough. Because just right next to Braden, we've got two beef boxes with a little bit extra. So it's 50 quarts plus two boxes if you ever wondered how much beef two steers will make you. So now we're going to hustle back to Springfield to try to get all this into the deep freeze. It's, uh, it's 4.30 in the afternoon, so most of the team members will be gone by the time we act, all the team members will be gone. We're going to get back about 5, 5.30. So most well, everybody will be gone. This will go in the deep freeze so that tomorrow everybody bring the coolers and uh, we'll send them home with some beef. This is the most discrimination against Pepsi I've ever seen in my life. So here's a few things you may not have known about Eric. He is a Coca-Cola fanatic. He loves all things Coca-Cola, all flavors of Coca-Cola, to a fault. In that, he believes that anyone that likes a soda brand outside of Coca-Cola is wrong. The final thing you need to know about Eric is he's wrong because a superior soda is Wild Cherry Pepsi. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the most discrimination against Pepsi I've ever seen in my life. Good. It's no. Good. No, I'm filing a grievance with the attorney of the state, the state attorney general. 
because this okay. is just they had 325 different versions of Mountain Dew. They had all the ever all the other Cokes you could ever want, and it only had regular Pepsi. They just spit well, in the face of everyone that likes Cherry Pepsi. That's Not, because no one likes Cherry Pepsi but you. False. False. I'll look at the data, but approximately half the country loves it. Name so, one other person that you know that likes Cherry Pepsi. My best friend Dylan. going to say me. And Alan. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Right. There's at least two well, other people that I know of. So. Well, they're on. The beef is secured and safely brought back to Ozark Fence. It's ready for team member pickup. You guys probably have seen her in previous episodes, but we haven't introduced Candace. Candace is our retail wholesale rock star. She makes sure that people that are purchasing fencing supplies from Ozark Fence and Supply get really well taken care of. And this week, Candace has a pretty big order to fill. So for the most part, we've been really lucky to have some great suppliers that we haven't ran into the supply chain issues like others have in the recent years. But that being said, that's how we met our newest customer. They gave me a call a few weeks ago that they are fencing off a landfill sanitation and it's got some pretty specific specs. That being said, it's not something we specialize in, so we referred them out to a few other companies that do. Unfortunately, a few weeks later, I got a call back they couldn't find anyone that would bid the project. So after making some phone calls and getting some pricing and some specs on the way, I found out why they were having some trouble bidding this project. Unfortunately, four inch and six inch wood posts are kind of hard to come by in the quantities that we need, as well as the gate specifications. I ran into suppliers that don't ship to Missouri, suppliers that simply can't commit to what roughly equates to about two semi loads worth of wood posts. So that being said though, I was able to find exactly what they're needing. It's just gonna take some strategical planning. But if the customer approves the samples that we sent them with today, that means that we will be able to get them everything they need. It'll just take some strategical planning on our part. It looks like that we're gonna be making a trip to three different states to be able to get everything that they're gonna need. Lastly, to wrap up the week, Matt and I grabbed Braden and we went out to an area funeral home to set up a demo of a privacy screen that I think I'll explain a little bit more in the video, but also say hey to grandpa. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we're here at Greenlawn Funeral Homes North on the north side of Springfield. I uh, just got done building this eight foot tall chain link fence with come complete with privacy slats. Uh, we built it with heavy wall, 40 weight, post, rail, the whole nine yards, nine gauge fabric, because we want to make sure this fence is here to last. The family's had this business for over 100 years. We want to make sure our fence is a part of that brand moving forward. We're also kind of concerned about wind load, so we went with the 40 weight because we know wind is going to hit these slats. Now this fence faces north. When the north wind comes in the winter time, there's not a lot here at the cemetery that's going to knock that wind down. So again, 40 weight to make sure everything stays exactly where it's supposed to stay. The problem is you can still see through it. Even with the privacy slats, you can still see what's on the other side of this fence. So today, Matt and I brought out a sample panel uh, courtesy of Ball Fabrics. Not a sponsored video, but we found them really easy to work with. If you guys are looking for a privacy screen, I'd suggest looking out or looking them up. They've treated us really right on this project. So without further ado, we're gonna put the panel up. So what we'll need to do, once we get this up, we'll need to measure because we'll have a custom panel built for this width. Well, okay, so that might have been a little bit. So the one thing about this is keep in mind it's a sample panel, right? So when we come back to permanently install it, 
It'll be up a little bit higher. We'll be running zip ties in all the grommets for proper structural support. Uh, we're gonna end up taking this panel down in probably a week or so. Uh, once we get the permanent screening in, the customer sees it and signs off on it, we order the permanent screening in. Um, today, what we're really trying to do is just give a visual representation of what this would look like before we order 700-ish feet of the screen. All right, so we just got done measuring exactly how far each segment is. Uh, the nice thing is when I was talking to Ball Fabrics about the sample, they had said they could cut custom sizes. So we're taking a measurement of each panel exactly what it needs to be so that we're not gonna have a lot of overlap or trying to uh, stretch out the fabric, which never seems to work. So uh, by getting some custom sizes, some exact sizes to Ball, they should be able to custom cut and make sure each panel fits like a glove. So one of the bonuses of doing work out here at Green Lawn is I get to come see my granddad uh, and my grandma. Um, so you want to talk about who's responsible for Ozark Fence, it's these two. Um, yeah, I get a little choked up, but the, these two are the reason that uh, that we're fin that I'm a fence guy. So they took it from, you know, uh, what uh, currently is endearingly called a chuck in a truck and uh, built it to, to what I was fortunate enough to come into. and. Uh, be tossed the hand of the torch too to carry on so uh, anyway I like to stop by and uh, make sure everything's you know taken care of and everything looks good and and uh, yeah Green Lawn's always good I mean they take care of everybody don't get me wrong but they're always good to make sure make sure it's uh, kept in good repair so anyway we always like to stop by anytime we're in the neighborhood All right, guys, it is contest time. A few weeks ago, I had asked you guys if you watched the whole video all the way through and if you did to comment end in the comments. There were a few comments left. I really appreciate that. So to reward those of you that make it to the end of the video, we're going to start running a contest and not just any contest, an Amazon gift card giveaway contest. It's going to be pretty straightforward. There's going to be a URL in the description below you're gonna pick up a secret catchphrase from the video and enter it in that contest URL. There's gonna be a few other steps you could take to increase the chances or increase the entries, the odds of winning. I don't know how you say that. There's gonna be a few other acts that you guys can also take to better your chances. So for example, today's secret word is Ozark. Navigate over to the URL and enter that secret word, Ozark, into the appropriate field and it'll give you an additional entry to win the Amazon gift card. Also keep watching future videos because every week we'll have a new secret word hidden somewhere in the video. It won't necessarily always be at the end. It'll be like Easter egg throughout the video. So you can't just skip to the end is the point. Anyway, best of luck. I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching this to its entirety. You guys are the real winners and I appreciate that a lot. Until next week, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.